Welcome back to the Roblox Studio Brookhaven series and this is part 5 where I'm going to show you how to make a car and then in the next video, part, part 6, I'll show you how to make this is the car dealership and I'll show you how to make and spawn, like buy and spawn a car. So the first thing you want to do in, with making the car is the body, front axle and the wheels. So. If I'm just going to take apart this car, so you can just, so you know what is happening here. So if we were to get rid of all of this stuff, okay, yeah, if we were to just get rid of that, that's more like the frame work of it, then we'll just ungroup this. Okay, so what we've got here is the body. Now this body is attached this. This is an attachment which is attached to here. And that is the same with every single wheel. That is that ha has an attachment and is attached to this body. Yes, yeah, so as you can see this here has a hinge constraint as well as this one also has a hinge constraint because these are the ones that move left to right. See these ones don't have one but this does. Left drive, if we just do visible real quick, you can see that left drive and right drive. And it's because the left wheel and the right wheel, and this is drive, that's not drive, these are the servo which spin. So this this part is will move left and right, making no sorry, this the front axle will move left and right, making this like these two wheels spin and making it actually move. So if we group this together, this should work. But before we do that, you want to add a drive seat. And inside the drive seat, I I this is just proximity from to get in the car, but this is the script you want to write to make the car work. So obviously look seat is that car which is a model I'm just gonna call test car then obviously property steer steering angle max speed then you can just change this as you want. Okay well if you just want to write all that down pause it whatever and okay we're going to give this we're going to test this out okay so I, i've actually got an approximate front but if you press drive and then you can turn see as i said the front axle turns left left and right then if you press w you move forward and if you press s you go back so normal controls then that is obviously the body of the car now, the body of the car is a difficult bit because some people can get this wrong. If you want to add this to your car, the thing you want to, you don't want to, I know it, some people might be obvious and some people might not be as obvious. You do not want this to touch the wheel. You do not want any of this to touch the wheel or any of this to touch the wheel because it will just stop the car. If you, if you move that outwards, it will completely stop actually. See that is, that is now touching the wheel, we'll do it on both sides. Oh no, no yeah, even, even just touch the wheel, it doesn't have to be on it or anything. We'll just put all of this inside the test car and then we'll play here and give it a go. Okay, we'll drive, yeah I'm pressing W, you can probably hear, but yeah it's not working. This works, but I'm not moving forward because this because it's stuck. Okay, so if I press stop now and I get this and I get whatever part this is, whichever part this is, bit that slot, that's the one. And then we move that back one and that back one. You can even do it so like there's like an actual frame thing for the car. I'm this is just a quick car, so I don't need to do that. Okay, if you test now, first drive, as you can see. It's working perfectly. It's working fine. It's a 
nice little car. Obviously it will go slower if it's got more stuff in it, because that's just how the force and force works. Okay. Yeah, so if you took all of this off it'd probably be a bit quicker, but maybe that's something you can add to your game. Like if you want a more stylish car, it might be slower. But anyway, that is how to make a car in Roblox. Uh, I know there's so many tutorials online and I'm sure they're all really good, but this is more of an updated one as I haven't seen one in ages. And it's just so you guys can make a car for the next video. Because otherwise I felt like you just have to it might be a bit of a pain making a car, otherwise I know it was until I found this tutorial. This is part 5 where I teach you how to make a car. Part 6, be learning. I'll be teaching you how to buy and spawn a car. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.